Well, it's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> Hello again, my subjects. It is I, your glorious Emperor. And by the way, to avoid confusion, when I say subjects, I mean my subscribers only. So for all you people who aren't subscribed, you're just potential Imperial citizenry, okay? And if I offended anyone with the previous video, as demonstrated by the two dislikes, zero likes, I am very, very sorry. Anyways, as promised, here is Empire Toes War, and today we're doing it as Sweden. Now then, as you can see, difficulty, battle difficulty very hard, I like it on that. Campaign difficulty, nah, not so much, because uh, sort of gives the AI hacks, and I can't stand that. Anyway, so we are going to do Sweden this time round. Because I did a bit of research on Swedish history, and it is very, very interesting. Alright, let's do the nation description. Sweden dominates Scandinavia and the Baltic, a northern European empire that is the legacy of the incomparable warrior king Gustavus Adolphus. Yeah, that's pretty legit about him. Even though he died in battle at Lutzen in 1632, very interesting, look it up on... Wikipedia, 30 years war and all that stuff, nasty. The army that he created helped Sweden profit from the seemingly endless religious struggles of the 30 years war. 8 million people died in that. Let's think about this in an age before mechanised warfare, 8 million people. Hee. The nation emerged from that conflict immeasurably stronger in military terms and able to invade its Baltic neighbours at will. This military power did however cost money and Swedish lives. Neither of these commodities are available in abundance, and prudent stewardship has been necessary too. Charles XI, however, has left an impressive arsenal in place for his son, should he wish to take up the sword, and Charles XII has an obsessive interest in soldiering. Charles XII, known to Sabaton fans as Carolus Rex. As the new century dawns, Sweden is a strong, aggressive state, surrounded by jealous rivals from whom she has taken territory in the last hundred years. To the east, the Russians would like unhindered access to the Baltic, and therefore Western Europe beyond. To the south, Poland Lithuania wants its lost lands back, but it's never going to get them back. Duh, I mean, Poland doesn't invade other people, people invade Poland. To the west, the other Scandinavian nations want independence or an end to Swedish domination of the Baltic. Actually, fun fact, Sweden was once ruled by Denmark. And... If you want me to put this into perspective, when it comes to history between each other, the history of Denmark and Sweden, they have a worse relationship than France and Britain. I kid you not. In all these potential threats, however, lurk opportunities for those bold and foolish enough <coughs> sorry, to seize the chance. Individually, Sweden's rivals are not quite as threatening as they might appear. Russia is huge, that much is true, but it's incredibly backwards. It's armies basically, peasants, yeah. There is no reason why the Baltic, as the Swedish Mare Nostrum, that means our sea in Latin, the Romans referred to the Mediterranean as that, cannot become the basis of a new northern Protestant empire. Sweden's army is at the equal of any in Europe. Woohoo! I'd say the Carolians were better than most. And her navy is not without resources and skill. Mm true, it did dominate the Baltic during the Thirty Years' War. With the home empire secured, who is to say that an overseas empire cannot be taken and held too? Now, I've decided I'm going to go with a short campaign, because, uh, well, I just like to keep things short for my viewers. Yeah, short campaign should do. Alright, let's begin this. Long-standing army and navy to secure territory Kane, along. Should. Here we are, Sweden. I've actually been on holiday to Sweden. It's a very nice country. It's it's like a British Scandinavia, if that makes sense. Right. First port of call. Roads. Roads are important. That's how the Romans ruled Europe. It's how I rule the Baltic. Right. Okay. They fell over it. Pour money into St. Petersburg. This place is very important. Oh, 
Residence, Conservatorium, Admiralty, Cannon Foundry, and Lose. Now, that sounds like a lot of money to spend, but trust me, these opportunistic swine will hit me at any point, so you've got to be ready. And that, uh, my advisors are quite loud, aren't they? Hold on, Ski. Just bring that down so you can hear my voice properly. There we go. Back. Resume game. Right, okay. We're beginning construction here. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Are we making monies? Yes, we are. Let's see if we can trade with a few people. As expected, Russia doesn't like us. The Polish don't like us. Well, sod them. Minor nations. Courland, Denmark, hostile. Y yeah, at the start of the 18th century, Sweden was not in a good position. A lot of people didn't like it. Alright, cool. Let's see if we can get a trade agreement with them. Come on. You know you want it. Fine, you want money off me? Fine, fine. Take it. Shut up and take my money. Right ho. Okay, let's just go sort out the government. Yes, we're an absolute monarchy because absolute monarchy is best monarchy. Policies. Let's tax the upper classes more because they can afford it. Ministers. Right. Who's competent and who's not? Right, okay. Ooh, hard big yarrow. Who's this chap? Harsh reputation, bond vivant, food and thrifty. So we don't want him in the treasury. Where do we want him then? Perhaps we can replace him with that bloke. Ooh, lovely, jubbly. Uh, justice minister. Wait a minute, what are you? Yeah, you can replace the justice guy. He looks like an idiot. Okay. We're in a bomb events, tactician. Uh, the army's already got a pretty good guy there. Trooper and fifty. Right, you go there. Excellent. So that's my cabinet sorted because I don't have to put up with bloody elections. So I can put in whoever I want, wherever I want. And there is our good king. Not Carl the Twelfth, Charles the Twelfth, and as we've said before, known to Sabaton fans as Carolus Rex. Look, look, I, I, I'm sorry. I I couldn't help myself. Oh, damn it, damn it, Sabaton. Right, okay. So another brief info drop as nice. is my way uh, at the start of of Carolus's ascension to the throne he was surrounded by Denmark Norway I think Norway was actually independent at that point uh, there's and Russia surrounded by that and upon his ascension bear this in mind 18 years old same age as me he was declared war upon by whom, you ask? Well, by everyone. All the Baltic powers went to war with uh, Sweden. Which, this started the Great Northern War. And this resulted in Sweden's eventual defeat at the hands of Russia. At the Battle of Poltava. Which, to my surprise, I found was all the way down in Ukraine. Yeah, it was around about here. And, uh, yeah. Although I must say, this was only after the, well, Carolus had beaten the living hell out of Norway and Denmark and was firmly planting his boot up Russia's arse. So much so that the Russians had to call on their finest soldier to get rid of him. Of course, I speak of the legendary and undefeatable General Winter. Yes, the Swedes did fall victim to a Russian winter. Why does that keep happening? You just thought people have learned by now not to invade during winter. Right, okay. Let's get an admiralty up. Let's get rid of all the stupid militia. Because militia are useless. I hate them. They are... Ugh. They're basically the peasant units of this game for all you Rome Tales of War players. Now then. Let's just get some regiments of foot in. 
and I think we should be good to go. Up, fat, fat. Whatever you said, I know nothing ah, of Swedish. Hög I don't know what he's saying. I'm sorry, but I don't. I have no clue <laughs> about the Swedish language. I can't speak a word of it. Aye, aye, Captain. Oddly enough, I know the first few ja, phrases of their national anthem, Du Gamla, Du Fria, Du Fjellen and Nord, or something like that. But that, that's it. That's it. Okie dokie, I think I have done everything I can. Wait a minute, is there a lack of Protestantism? Yeah, there's a lack of Protestantism. This must be remedied. Move. Okay. And you, my fine rake. So much make the inte me. Let's see. <laughs> a knife in the dark. Come on, come on. You can do it, bro. You can do it. You can do it. You idiot! Right. Whatever. Whatever. Just never mind. Now, I said I hate militia. But I can't get rid of these guys because some idiots didn't think to build up St. Petersburg to begin with. Although, um... Fun fact, in this game, the capital of Russia should very much be St. Petersburg at some point, because the capital of the Tsarist Empire was St. Petersburg for hundreds of years, until the political aids known as communism happened, and, you know, the entire family, the Romanovs, were murdered. Goddamn Bolsheviks, but anyways... On to the next turn. Um, um I like your thinking there, Britain, but um no no, no, I am sorry. Um no. No Good god why does everyone want Finland? I've been on holiday to Finland, I mean it's nice, but I wouldn't trade it for anything. Right, okay, send proposal. Just give me the trade agreement. HA! Take it. Agreements. No, 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 no. Russia, you're not getting the idea here. No, I'm not going to give you Ingria. Sort off. Peter. Oh, there are naturally occurring right, resources so in this region that are not... Shut up. Right, we've got Sven Adaman. A new gentleman. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Off you go. Genast. Ah, what are you saying? Right, okay, um... If there's any Swedish people watching this video, could you let me know what your compatriots are saying? Oh, an alliance broken. What a surprise. War. Poland. Russia and Austria. This comes as no surprise to me. A new port! Ooh, don't mind if I do. Right, we do we have a military port? Yeah, we we do here, but that's probably going to get taken over by the Russians at some point. So I need to have another port ready and waiting. Kronstadt. Ooh, this will do nicely for a trade port, me thinks. The Julian calendar. Julian calendar, by the way, I think. Ah. I don't know what that one was. Ah, oh, balls. Sorry, I was about to impart some information to you on there, but uh, I've had a brain fail. Right, ho. So let's just rebuild the Swedish army. Let's make it into a modern fighting force so I can go kick the crap out of the Norwegians in a bit. And then the Danish. So then I can completely dominate the eastern Baltic and then I can just go kick Russia's teeth in. Right. Whatever you say. Um, I, I, I got nothing. Uh, no idea. Right ho. We should have a conservatorium built in a little bit. Mm, that should be nice. Uh, not yet. I'm a bit poor at the moment. Right ho. Uh, just going to Remodernize and revive, build up the Swedish army a bit. Then I'll get into like uh, the economy and all that because the economy comes second to everything. Go on, move. 
No, 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 no. The only thing that will make me give you that is a whole load of money or a whole load of your territory. Which I don't think is going to happen, so I'll have to say no, Peter. My gracious sovereign will be heartily disappointed to hear of your rejection. Let us hope, good sir, that you do not live to rue it. Let us hope that you do not live to see me take offence to your insults. Um, I don't know, you're on the other side of the world, so um, I don't see any use to an alliance. I've had a dis well, sad for you. Right, ho. I, I never figured out what comptroller means. Never. Alright. The army's getting bigger and it's getting better. I've got those roads up. Poland's being invaded by a Germanic people. All is well. Research technology. Oh, we're going to get that canister shot soon because canister shot is the weapon of mass destruction in this game. I love cannon sh canister shot. Although I've heard shrapnel's better. Uh -oh. What he said. Anyways, I think we can now put a bit of money into mining. Because mining's good. Gotta go hire the dwarves of Erebor to do that for me. That was a bad Lord of the Rings joke. Speaking of Lord of the Rings, did anyone else watch the, that abomination of a trilogy that was the Hobbit films? I mean... They could have done it in two, but no, they did it in three, and all that CGI, it felt like I was walking back into the Star Wars prequel trilogy. God, I'm the paper mache, aren't I? Alright, nerd rage over. Anyways, ah yes, important thing to do with your fleet at the very start, put them by Malmo. There's a point to this, it prevents any big Danish armies from marching straight into Sweden on the turn they declare war on you, which they inevitably will, because Sweet Denmark don't like me, which uh, is unfortunate, but uh, I can deal with it. Right, we're gonna save some money for now. Oh yeah, we need one more regiment of cavalry, and then we'll have a uh, what I like to call a nice little army corps already, and I'll expand on that in a bit. Uh, ooh. No, I will not use pikemen. Pikemen is what? No one uses pikemen in this game. No one. Because it's a horrible idea. Okie dokie, I think that's enough for one turn. Then I'll see you in the next. Well, no one's offered me any stupid diplomatic treaties, so all is well at the moment. Okie dokie, start researching some plug bayonets, then ring bayonet, then square formation. And I basically got everything I need to win the damn game. Making a nice bit of money. She comes up. Yeah, that is historically legit. He wasn't even 20 when he was on the throne, as I've already said. When he was put on the throne, yeah, he, he was 18. No older than me. Nonsensical outbursts. Um... Uh, I don't think he was prone to that. He was a religious nut. I'll say that. I mean, apparently he'd be executed for blaspheming in his army or something. Although, to be fair, all that discipline and everything produced the best army of the age. The Caroleans, as they were called. I mean, those guys were badasses. Just complete and utter badasses. You don't keep. Army, got everything there. Recruitment. Ah yes, that was it. I was going to build an ordnance factory. Because they're useful. Very useful. Because you can start pumping out artillery in one turn instead of two. And that's always a bonus. Right, now to get to work on my economy a bit more. Eventually I'll go bolster my fur trappings because that was one of the most lucrative money parts I know that's poor terminology bear with me that's one of the most lucrative trades in Scandinavia was their fur pelts because uh, it was the only thing they had 
blast them, but yeah. Okay, let's see, has a Petersburg been built up? Alright, we can now chuck all these completely god awful militia. Life is good. Right, let's get you lot, Arnie. Bye bye, you useless pieces of whatever. Alright, how's the conversion to Protestantism? Yay, it's going up. Now, I do believe in religious freedom. But in these games, I don't, simply put, because different religions create a public order issues, so they have to be wiped out. I'm a horrible person, aren't I? <laughs> Alright, I think that's enough for one turn. What a surprise. Okie dokie, right here. I have got no allies. So let's see who joins them in war. Ha ha ha! Just you. Ivan Grozny. Uh, any Russian viewers who can fill me in on who that is, I'll appreciate it. Do you believe the banners of the noble czars? Okay, I'll uh, look forward to seeing you on the field. Dumbass. Oh, alliance broken. Area. That. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yes, my walls are up. So now that whole, those two provinces there, fortified. They aren't going to get through that. Fingers crossed. Hopefully. Okay, there's my regiment of horse. How much money have we got? Okay, we're making plenty. One sheet is plenty. I, I don't know why I said that. Don't mind me. To just a little bit mad over here. Right, have we got the army ready? Hmm. Do I want a war with them at the moment? I probably don't. There's the issue. Need to bolster my forces here. Actually, Petrovskia could be a uh, nice and right for conquest. Or may maybe it isn't. What have you got? Oh, you've got an army of plebs. Hilarious. Right, we'll just uh, get my troops here sorted and then we'll just go take that off your hands. Hey! Actually, I'll recruit the surge plug bayonet first. That'll probably be a good idea. Yeah, I need to bolster my army more. More infantry, more cavalry, more artillery. I need more everything. So as you can imagine, this is going to be quite a difficult time for me. Alright, we'll have a reasonable force up and ready soon enough. For now, end the turn. And Select the type shut up. Anyways, the Russians are just being lovely to me at the moment. I mean, they're just giving me the time to prepare really nicely. It's very kind of them. Alright, let's get that ring bayonet sword. Alright. The army of St. Petersburg is all ready. I'd love to go get Petrovskia, but I need to know if there are any other Russian armies hidden down here. Yes, there are. How many troops has he got? He's got a few. The Russian units are bigger because they're, well, crap, let's face it. Yeah. Assassinate. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 46%. That's a really good rating. You moron. Oh. Damn it. Okay. There goes my agent. Well, it said the chances were good. Bloody fool messed up. Oh, it's a pity we don't have, like, the uh, videos of their failure. You know, like, the ninja fails. You know how utterly hilarious those are. <laughs> oh, I'm immature. Anyways, let's get some more troops ready. At least we've got walls and everything. So we're, we're, we're good, I think. We're good. So let's just bolster the chaps here. And I'll give him a proper army soon enough. Ooh, built that thing. Gonna have to use militia. Right, 
Alright, we've... I don't think we'll have any problems from the Russian Navy, because let's be, be frank, it doesn't exist yet. Okay. End the turn. Is he coming to us? He probably is. Here he comes. Alright, come on. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me if you think you're hard enough. Oh, oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Come to... God damn it! No one else is being opportunistic. This pleases me. Oh, you scum. Why'd you do that? I mean, ugh, that just gives me grief. I mean, I'll forget that you Oh, never mind. Alright, so what are we up against? Well, my forces are bigger than his. Giggity. But yeah, um... Have we got that? No, we have not got that up yet. So I suppose the only thing we can do is put some more cavalry in. Then we'll have a... Be able to build some cannons, because cannons are good. Cannons are really good. And he's just militia spamming there. Bloody militia. They're the worst things this universe has ever created. Okie dokie, some cavalry and artillery. And then we have a nice force there. Should be capable of dealing with anything the Danes throw at us. But the army in St. Petersburg, I'm going to need to build that up to a full stack if I want to deal with any Russian invasions. Alright, ending turn. You know what, fine, that, that, that's a reasonable demand because the Barbary States will just be a pain in your arse that you'll never be able to deal with with Darth Maul turned on. So, yeah, I'll accept that. Uh, yeah, put a trade agreement in there. God, what? You just doubled the money! For no reason. Fine, fine, we'll, we'll do that. Little haggling. Okay, yeah, yeah. See ya. Yo, what the hell? Stop that. Stop breaking my crap. Why have you done that? Why, w why would you cancel trade agreements with me? You... What? Have... Okay. Spain! Let's see if we can trade with a big Catholic power who likes me for some reason. What? What? Why? Uh, trade is just a natural thing to do. Okay, so come on, come on. New Spain! That's pretty wealthy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll see if we can get a trade agreement with you. Yay! Alright, Genoa. That's a place that's not going to be likely invaded. So, trade agreement... Well, sod off. Louisiana, another big Catholic power. No, no, I'm not going to... Bloody hell. Savoy, no, you're, you're poor. I don't want to trade with poor people. Okie, okie dokie. So they're going to play this game with me. They're going to try and siege me. When I so horrendously outnumber them. Okie dokie, you want to play this game? Well, we'll play this game. Yeah, do you want to play? We'll play. I will see you on the battlefield. Well then, our first battle. Depends where the enemy is deploying. It really does depend where our enemy is deploying. Three units. Why can't I math? Where the hell are they going to deploy? So I have a feeling they'll deploy in that general direction. Okay. Because militia are useless, they're going to go on the and so the man needs the lovely cannons. Uh, I have a feeling this is going to get pretty damn laggy. What the hell can be fun? It might get laggy. Actually, that, 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 that's not the promise. Alright, 
we don't have, we still have four units of infantry to put on But in front of the boys, here is my genius plan. I am going to have a nice line of infantry in front of the wall and a nice line of infantry on top of the wall. So then we'll be able to shoot the crap out of them. Yeah. Yeah, I like this plan. I really like this plan of mine. My plan's good. Okay, we've got the infantry up there. Now for the pièce de résistance. Smart city, on walls, on limber, and we'll have the cavalry cover, 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 cover. Why can't I English? God damn it, I am English. British. Proud. Let's begin. Oh my God. Ah, that, that, they have to deploy there, don't they? We always have to deploy in exactly the wrong place. And now I've got to move our ass. Okay, okay, okay. Move over. Post haste, you need to be there tomorrow. Just got some artillery to shoot. Force them to attack us. Right. Now then, you're going to be able to hear the absolutely badass Swedish marching tune. I have to position my army in exactly the wrong position. Like you can run. Come on, we're gonna force them to attack us. Ooh, they're, they're getting hit. Yeah, before that wall comes down, we'll hopefully have killed a fair few of them. And we have! Yeah, 
Swedish for forwards. Someone could help me out with that. That's better, isn't it? Because that music was getting down loud. And he's actually advancing. Braver than I thought. Right, artillery. Adjust aim. Going to annihilate them. Sveltsi over here. Am I pronouncing it right? I, I'm probably not. Okay, you're losing guys by the bucket load here. I think I'll pull you back. Get off the wall, soldiers. You've done Sweden proud. I know. Fun fact. The Swedish army of the time period was called, were called the Carolians. Oh, there, was this. there was a reason for this, because Charles XII put in these reforms for his army, which basically was more discipline and stuff like that. There was a thing which made the Carolines the best army in the world at the time. It was very much based around infantry. They would allow the enemy to shoot first, but then they would advance much closer, give them a volley, blast them in the face with it, and then they'd bayonet charge. They were absolutely formidable. Absolutely formidable. In fact, uh, they were most likely, in fact, probably the best army of the time period. Right, there's a whole load of Gorgonesque Strelzi coming this way, and these are probably, apart from a legit unit called Muslims, I'm, I'm not being racist or prejudiced, there's actually a unit called Muslims in this, apart from them, these guys are the, are the worst units in the game. They're absolutely appalling, it's atrocious. Are we hitting them? They must have lost about 50 men. That a bit more than 15. Uh, they're going to bring that wall down, aren't they? Well, I can hardly blame them. I mean, where's that other regiment? Okay. Oh, I forgot to move you. I'm on, at the double. We'll deal with these guys, then we'll carry out a general advance. And we'll wipe them out. That is a thing with Darth Maul, which isn't so good. It makes, when you select one drum noise, everyone uses that drum noise. <laughs> so I'm currently using the Swedish march. Apparently it's a cavalry march. And, uh, yeah, now the Russians are using it. I'm not familiar with Russian military marches, so... Who knows, they might have actually used it. Although that is a huge who knows. Right, they're gonna get massacred. There's a lot of... Even though there's roughly 700 of them coming towards us right now, I don't think we're gonna have a problem. Because Russia's army is appalling in an early game, it really is. It's actually somewhat depressing. Right, you lot. You can concentrate fire on the blood of ice. Actually, no, Cossacks. Cossacks are the bigger threat here. What, you're not retreating, are you? Come back here. Fighting dialect men. Oh, the AI is having one of its moments. Okay, let, let's just pour fire in. Well, they vanished around here. Artillery target there, Jack. Bring me his head. Is that a charge of infantry? If so, direct hit. Ah, was that actually blood? Wait a minute, they were 
Game Shot? Yes, they are. Just with our friends, general. Give them that grape shot. Fire! And they're dropping my flies. Glorious. Oh, that's not good enough. So they're charging. They're just losing chaps, but yeah, good idea. We're just losing guys there, and that is a shameful display. Right, artillery, readjust. These guys are a problem now. Advancing close enough for a great shot. Excellent. Even if they are moving slow motion. Never mind. This is of no consequence to me. And they drop the eyes. Told you the Carolians were right there. Well, okay, so about half your army is running away. Hope you feel proud of yourself, Russia. I hope you feel proud of yourself. Oh, wait, 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 they're over grouping. Keep up the pressure. I'm on. I'm on. You guys could just gonna charge me. Oh, 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 oh. Very well. A lovely square formation. Pour all fire into them. Pour some fire. Who are they shooting at? In my wall. Swine. There. Oh, they're charging. They're all charging. Pull cavalry away from the trees. Wait a minute. Charge. Let's see how you handle some Swedish mice. No, 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 no. Don't let them take the cannon. Don't let them take the cannon. If you dare lose to Grodice of the Skelsey, I'm disbanding you. Because there will be repercussions. Oh, that's where the rest... Ooh, they have some line infantry. I didn't notice you, and they're facing the wrong way. So it's War AI at its best, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. How many men have you lost? To Grodice of the George, you idiots! Come on. Rout. Rout. Okay, okay, wipe these guys out. Completely. Annihilate them. Okie dokie. Now that they're dealt with, I think we can concentrate fire a bit more. Oh, 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 I think he's throwing his general into the mix. Of this, I have to get out of the problem. Wipe them out. All of them. I don't think we can pursue them. Their artillery is still a problem. Actually, you know, we we'll need the cavalry out. 
At least this is a demonstration of not a completely incompetent military commander. Oh, this is not. Right, okay, they're breaking. Kill their general. Kill their general. Kill their general. Kill their general. No mercy. No, 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 no. There we go. There we go. It's cool, it's cool, I can always kill him another day. Now, to ensure that these brotherites don't reform. And I'll just have to rear charge these chaps, because, yeah, rear charge just. it's ruination. Right. Slaughter these guys, I only want 20 to be left, and then we'll make a move on these chaps. Oh, I think we've got their general. Get after him. Actually, no, wait, he's a crap general. It doesn't matter. Yeah, the, the Russians have a really bad start in the game. Well, the unit of Rodai Streltsy, they will smash through your line. Charge down provincials. Like them as they perish. Oh look, and he's left his artillery uh, completely exposed. Get him! Wow, you've lost twelve men already. And these line of troops just gonna sit here. Now that's cool with me. Don't mind me. Just gonna charge all my men forward. Limber the guns up. Nine infantry. Advance. Ooh, that was a bit laggy there for a moment. I should turn the settings down at some point. Wipe them out. Oh god, they're just provincial cavalry. It's not like they're a serious threat or anything. Some proper cavalry, wipe out the <laughs> I'm just gonna let these infantry sit there and die. Right, okay. You wipe them out completely. You've just run past them. No, 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 get off them, get off them. Artillery are the biggest threat in the game. And they're going to get away. Oh, maybe not. Thank you for staying still. This is a good day. Alright, group up with these chaps. Deliver a nice rear charge to these fine gentlemen here, and we will win the day. It's been a long day, it's been a hard day, but we are victorious. That's what matters. Now, I think we've killed about definitely more than 500 of them. Oh, oh, oh just moan that. I think the term scythe down is actually better. Better description. There we go. Just regroup here. Then give them a lovely beer charge. Okay. Like so. All together now. There's more than a hundred horsemen charging you. And you're facing the wrong way. This is going to be hilarious. Prepare to see it raining men. Oh god. No, you morons. So 
So, you sort of went blocky instead of keeping yourselves extended. And they're just losing men like flies. I think we've won this, although let's get the infantry over here just in case. Christ almighty, just rout already. Withdraw. Again. Oh no, don't let them come square. I don't care how many of you have to die. Right, and now slaughter them. Right, we've killed their best regiments and we've inflicted a nice defeat on the Russian army. Right. You don't really need to see the rest of this, so I'll, uh, I'll just pop back to the campaign map. Nice work, me. Alright. Killed about 700 of them. They are broken. Oh, he's just going to flee back there. Oh, I've just got to replenish my army. Because of how badly broken it is. Oh, now we now we have the ability to recruit good cannons and all that. But anyways, this first episode, my ultimate goal in it was just to fight one battle. And now that's out of the way, I don't want this running on too long. As always, it's been my utmost pleasure. Thank you for watching and for any returning subscribers. Thank you for sticking with me for so long. Uh... And I will be seeing you again shortly with another episode of Semi-Serious Total War Sweden. Until then, like and subscribe for the glory of the Empire.